people see me and think they're safer. But it's not really me they're seeing. Probably for the best. Knowing everything hinges on a guy from Queens sounds as scary as it feels. <laughs> no pressure, right? YouTubers is Charlie. So we got a big surprise exclusive Spider-Man PS4 title coming next year. So let's break it down. The gameplay here is actually really awesome. This looks a lot like his fight during the Captain America Civil War sequence. Spider-Man was really only in that movie for like 10 to 20 minutes and a little less than half of that was as Peter Parker. But you can see he's got the white emblem. His suit looks a little more hardcore. He's probably got some more toys from Tony Stark. So what's going on with this game is it's PS4 exclusive. The reason they didn't announce a release date is because the game isn't quite far along enough. Usually that has to get to a certain point before they know, okay, we're going to finish this in six months or eight months. What they're probably going to do is drop the game when it gets closer to the Spider-Man movie, which is coming next summer. So a lot of you are asking, is this game going to have anything to do with the Spider-Man movie or the Marvel franchise or the MCU? Yes and no. The story of the game won't be the same story as the movie. It's not going to be one of those crappy movie tie-in games. Those are the worst. Those are big cash grabs. The story of this will be original, but it will have Easter eggs for things that are happening in the games. You'll have upgrades and skins based on the Stark tech that Spider-Man gets in the movie. Remember, Iron Man is going to be in the new Spider-Man movie. He'll get some new toys. We'll probably see those in the game. So I'm not totally expecting Tom Holland to be wearing the white emblem suit that's in this game in the movie. They're not going to spoil the movie with the game. So yes, Tom Holland's Spider-Man suit will change just a little bit, but it'll still look pretty close to the suit that he wore in Civil War. The rumor right now is that in the movie, he's going to get the webs underneath his armpits, and it's going to look a little bit more like the classic Spider-Man suit. But like when you look at the armor plates here, it's still going to be Stark tech, but it's going to look like a suit that a kid would wear and could stuff in a gym bag. So that's the difference between Spider-Man's suit and like Black Panther's that's made out of vibranium weave. Wouldn't it be awesome though if Spider-Man got a vibranium weave suit? I would not be surprised if the game released some vibranium DLC. Like after the movie comes out, you get extra DLC packs based on stuff that happens in the movie. But Marvel was going crazy about this at E3. What the game is, is it's a collaboration between Insomniac Games, Sony, and Marvel. So Marvel is heavily embedded in the culture of Spider-Man at Sony. Sony still owns the Spider-Man franchise, but Marvel is informing where a lot of the creative goes. So story for the game, all the things that you're seeing, the look and feel, the way it plays, Marvel has a hand in all that. Bendis is a huge gamer, so I wouldn't be surprised if when he heard they were making a Spider-Man game, he was pounding on people's doors asking to help out. But let me know what you guys think of this suit and which parts of New York do you want to see in the game. Obviously Queens is going to be a really big deal. They're going to use the game to help create the universe of Spider-Man. He's a street level hero even though he's been part of the Avengers. So the way his character fits into the Marvel Universe is kind of like a cross between like your big A-list Avengers like Iron Man and Thor. And then the street level Avengers like Black Widow or Daredevil. You know, people that don't have superpowers because Spider-Man does have superpowers but he's a little kid so he's very inexperienced. So it's like he gets invited to the really big parties but he has to take Tony Stark along as a chaperone. Please don't tell Aunt May. Speaking of which, actors appearing in the game. I know a lot of you always ask if the actors from the movies are going to be doing voices in the games. Because they're working on the Spider-Man movie right now, this isn't Tom Holland. He's not doing the voice for the game. But when the game comes out, they'll probably do some fun things because Tom Holland plays a lot of video games. Even Robert Downey Jr. plays a lot of video games. I don't think there's anybody that stars in or makes Marvel movies that does not play video games. So there'll be more stuff for the game later this year, probably like a playable demo, and then the game will probably get released when we get closer to the movie next year, like spring of next year. But if they do an update or they release some more bonus content that ties in with the movies, I'll be sure to do a video about it. But remember, at the end of Civil War, so careful for spoilers from Civil War, 
Remember at the end of that movie where he got the Stark Tech web shooters? You'll see a lot of stuff like that. But you'll also see like in this Queen's universe as you like fly around the city, you'll see Easter eggs from the comic books, places that Spider-Man visited in comic book stories, really cool things that reward people that spend a lot of time just poking around the different corners of the game. So you always have your linear story where it's like, you know, 20, 30 hours of gameplay, maybe 50 if it's like a JRPG. And then you have all this other free roam stuff with side quests and stuff. The side quests are really where the Easter egg and the fun's at. So let me know what you guys think of the gameplay. Some of these moves are actually directly lifted from Captain America Civil War, like where he's flinging this big radiator around. You can just hear Falcon and Winter Soldier just sitting off in the distance just going, I hate you so much. That was one of my favorite scenes from that movie. And speaking of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, I just did a South Park Fractured But Whole trailer video. If you don't know what that game is, it's a complete send up of the Marvel Cinematic Universe in the DC movies. So I'll put a link in the description. It's pure genius. It's the most hilarious thing ever. But I know there's a lot of Game of Thrones happening this week, but I'm also working on a Spider-Man movie video for Spider-Man Homecoming. I'll post that in a couple days. They've announced a couple more cast members. So there's a bunch of movie stuff to talk about too. While you guys wait for that next video to post, you can click here to watch South Park completely roast Marvel and DC, and you can click here for my Game of Thrones Episode 9 trailer video. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Let's high five. I'll see you guys tonight.